Hey everyone, it's Friday. Yes, it's Friday. I hope you had a great week. Maybe it's been a roller coaster of a week. Maybe it's been a bad week. Maybe you don't even know what's happening this week. Um, it's all good. I'm so glad you've come to this moment to hang out with me. My name is Trevor. I'm one of the pastors at Concord. And I'd like to just take a few moments to talk to you, to maybe give you an encouraging word, to maybe help you uh, with some things that I'm thinking of, honestly. Uh, I don't know if you're like me, but I have a lot of thoughts in a 24-hour span, and I need a little direction in my day every now and then. Uh, I need some pick-me-up. I need something challenging. I need something encouraging. I need something to meet me where I am. Uh, there's good news for you, and there's good news for me, is Jesus wants to meet us where we are. Jesus wants to meet us where we are. And I think sometimes, maybe as Jesus followers, maybe as Christians, uh, we may overlook those moments. We may overlook him and we say, oh, you know what? I know the Bible or I've prayed a lot in my life or like I'm really good and committed to going to church, even if it's church online. Shout out to everyone watching us only online. Thank you for joining us on a regular basis. But wherever you are, however you join in with Concord, uh, we're so thankful that you join in with us. But again, like I said, uh, I don't know if you think about church like that or if you're okay with uh, just going throughout your week and then it becomes a church moment or a, a God time and you, your language changes and your posture changes and maybe even your clothes change, but, but you, don't, you aren't really changed. Um, you just do things just to do them or you just go through these exercises or these moments because you feel like you have to. Well, what if we were freed of those thoughts of feeling like we have to do this and we have to do that, but we get to and we're going with God. And so there's this thought that's, that's really kind of wrecking my mind and it's out of Hebrews. It's Hebrews 13 verse five. Jesus um, is quoted in this moment and says this, he said, I will never leave you or forsake you. And I just love that statement that Jesus makes, that quote, that thought, because to be honest with you, I, uh, I, I wasn't able, actually able to make very good friends growing up. I moved around to a lot of different places and I never really had um, really solid, deep, genuine friends. I had a lot of acquaintances. I had a lot of people that I wanted to be like, or a lot of people around me that I felt like were cool. So I was like, oh, I hang out with the cool kids or that I would have fun with. And I was like, all right, I'll hang out with them when I want to have fun. Or, And I would just go from different areas of my life to different areas of life and hang out with different people. But I never really got to know anyone. I never really had an amazing friends uh, because people would just leave me and be like, okay, sweet. Um, that was fun to hang out with you, Trevor, for a little bit, but uh, it's time for me to go somewhere else. Or I, or I would leave them and I would move to a different place. And so it was hard because um, it was just this leaving game, if you will. And I think everybody has had somebody that they've loved or wanted to be friends with or wanted to care about leave them before. We all know what that feels like. Maybe it was a job that left you. Maybe it was some circumstances that left you that you thought were amazing. Maybe it was a person. Maybe it was a guy or a girl that you wanted to be friends with or that you wanted to date or wherever you were in, the, in, in this game of life or this, this thing that we call life. And, and You've had things or people or circumstances leave you. Well, in this moment, Jesus says, I will never leave you. And what's beautiful about that and what's encouraging about that today is that there's nothing that you can do to make him leave you. There's nothing that you can say to make him leave you. There's nobody that you can become to make him leave you. When you have a relationship with Jesus, he will never leave you. And if you don't have a relationship with him right now, you can come to him because he's right there waiting for you to allow him to come into your life so that you can know that he's never gonna leave you. And that's so cool right now where we are because somebody has come to the end of 
their life or the end of this moment or the end of their day or the end of their week and you would say, man, I've had a lot of things leave me, whether it's money out of my bank account or a job or people or whatever, you can come to Jesus and have confidence, a firm foundation to stand on that he's not gonna leave you. So why do you keep leaving him? Because we leave him, I leave him on Sundays, or I leave him when I hang out with him in the morning, and I don't go with him throughout my day. And I'm really good at leaving God and leaving Jesus in those comfortable areas where I wanna hang out with him because it's like, okay, God, you can stay here, but I'm gonna go over here and hang out with these people or do this or talk about this in my life or, or hang out and do this for fun on the lake or with uh, at a ball game or at dinner or whatever. And it's like, okay, God, I, I want you here, but I don't want you here. And we're really good at leaving him. We're good at leaving him out of our dreams. We're good at leaving him out of the relationships with the people that we say that we love. We're good at leaving him out of our thoughts. We're good at leaving him out of our conversations. We're good at leaving him out of our plans. We're really good at it. But he will never leave you. So where does, where, where does that lead you to think? Well, what does that lead you to think? Does it lead you to think about all the things that you're afraid of or that are overwhelming you? Or does it lead you to think about how amazing Jesus is and how much he loves you? Because as soon as he says, I'll never leave you, because there's nothing you can do to make him leave you when you have a relationship with him. He goes in to say, I'll never forsake you. I'll never abandon you. I'll never give up on you. And that immediately leads me to think of how we are led to love in scripture. How what love really looks like is it believes all things, it hopes all things, it endures all things. And right now, we need the Lord to show us how to love because really how to love leads us to know how to live. Because when you understand that he's never gonna leave you, he's never gonna leave you and he's never gonna forsake you, that leads you to a point of why do you keep leaving him and why do you keep forsaking him? because I don't wanna give up on God anymore. I don't wanna abandon him and what he's doing and what he's trying to do in my life because this life that he's asked us to live with this relationship with him is not a life. It's not a life of doing a lot of things for God, but it's a life of, of living with him and becoming like him. So here's my question on this Friday. Is, does your life Look like the life that Jesus would live. And that is a huge question. Because if you have a relationship with Jesus, it should start looking like that. If you would say, you know what, Trevor, I really love God, I love church, I love this community, I love the kingdom of heaven, I love, I love everything, I love his word, I love praying to him, I love talking with him, and you would say, I have an amazing relationship with him. Well, does your relationship with him lead you to look like him? Because it should. And that is so challenging for me. He never is gonna leave you or forsake you. So why do I keep leaving him and forsaking him? Because this life that we live looks like a life that can become something with him. We can, we can become like him. We can, we can love like him. We can live like him. Because at the end of the day, we ultimately become who we surround ourselves with. And you're not surrounding yourself with Jesus if you leave him on Sunday or if you leave him in the mornings or whenever you spend time with him or in prayer or reading your word. You can't become like him like that. You become like somebody when you actually go with somebody through life. And it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter the color of your skin. It doesn't matter where you go to church or if you go to church. It doesn't matter about what you do. It matters about who you know 
and who you're actually going through life with. Because you can do all of those things. You can go to the right church, and you can say the right things, and you can do all the right stuff, and that's awesome. But you may never become who God has created you to become until you actually go with Jesus. So I wanna thank you so much for spending this time with me. And I wanna pray for you as you go through life. As you go through this season of life, so difficult, we're all in the same boat. So thank you so much. Let me pray for us. God, I thank you for everyone that's listening right now. I pray that you would encourage them with your love. I pray that they would be uplifted by you never leaving them nor forsaking them. And God, I pray that you would move in all of our lives together. And God, I pray that the person that doesn't know you would come to know you. I pray that the person struggling would find strength as they just go through life with you. And God, I pray that we would not compartmentalize our life and live a certain way here and live a certain way there and live a certain way there. But God, I pray that we would be who you've created us to be because God, you can't bless and you don't wanna bless who you haven't created us to be, who we fake to be. You wanna bless us, who you love and who you've created us to be. So God, thank you so much for creating every single person listening to this, every single person to conquer, every single person in Knoxville and in this country and in this world. And God, I pray that we would see everybody around us as you see them and lead us to love each other like you've loved us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a great weekend. We'll see you um, at concordonline.org this Sunday. See you later.